In this video I'm going to show you how to check out the uh, MGWT showcase from Git and uh, make everything running nicely with uh, your local Eclipse so you can take a look at the code, uh, run the project yourself, make some changes, I don't know. Okay, I got an empty workspace here with nothing in it and I'm going to start by checking out cloning the project from uh, Google Code. So this has happened right now, so now i got a folder on the hard disk, uh, the MGWT Showcase. If you are running this the first time, you need to um, uh, configure the workspace in Eclipse to work together with Maven. Basically this is just setting a variable pointing to your local Maven repository uh, so that reference jar files can be found from Eclipse. So this is what we need to do. We need to set MVN Eclipse config workspace and the path to your workspace. For me this would be users, code, documents and the demo workspace I'm currently in. So I'm going to run this real quick. This is going to configure the variable inside Eclipse. So the next step is um, we're going to change into the showcase. So this is just a very basic Maven project with the POM XML and the source folder. For Eclipse, we're going to need the uh, .class path file and the .project file. Um, and I prefer them not being inside source control, just to generate them with Maven. So we only have one place where, the where all the configuration is at. So we can do this by running MVN Eclipse Eclipse. If you change something in the POM, change some dependencies or so on, you're going to need to rerun this every time. So let me run this now. And we take a look at the folder right now. We see, OK, there's the .class path file, the .project file, the .settings folder, and everything looks great. So the other thing we have to do, we have to explode the var file. This is basically just copying everything from source main web app to the target folder. So now we should be good to go. Let me launch Eclipse. And now we can just import the project into Eclipse. Oh, this always takes some time. So this is Eclipse uh, with the latest GWT plugin and the SDK setup. So I'm going to choose File Import Existing Project. I'm going to show you General Existing Project into Workspace. Select the directory we just checked out inside the workspace. Okay, this is the showcase. I'm going to open it now. Eclipse now finds the project. I'm going to say Finish here. So almost any everything was just configured by Maven. There's one thing that we need to do. I'm going to check here, right-click properties of the project, and I'm going to tell the Google plugin um, that this project is a proper GWT project. Most of the things Maven has already done, but we uh, need to uh, set up the war directory here. With Maven, this is a little bit complicated. The first thing I'm going to say, this project has a work directory, and select source main web app. Um, but we need to uncheck uh, the box here, launch and deploy from this directory, because we don't want uh, the Eclipse GWT plugin to generate source into source main web app. So we would end up with uh, changes uh, in a source management directory. Um, we're going to put the generated stuff into target. This is what Maven basically does every time. So, check that here. So now the first time I try to launch the showcase now, I'm just going to say run as web application. It asks me where the water directory should work and is located. It's going to be in target uh, and the showcase and the version. So I'm going to say open here. Now we have to wait for the launch. Now you, you should see, uh, there it is, inside development mode, the URL, we can copy. Uh, note that I'm not using normal Safari on desktop here, I'm using OmniWeb because 
right now there's a problem with the GWT developer plugin for Safari. Um, maybe at the time you're watching this, this wouldn't be the case anymore, so you will need to use only web. So, right now showcase is starting up. So, and there is the showcase. So, anything like we've expected from the showcase hosted at mgwt.com. So, let's take a quick look at the source code. So, with a normal Maven project, you normally put your Java source into source main Java. This is the case here. So, and the GWT module is located on the com Google code MGWT examples showcase. This is just normal GWT module like you would expect. You've got the different inherit stuff. You're going to inherit MGWT here. And here are some examples which you can set with different variables for MGWT. So then we see here this is the showcase entry point. This is located here. Mm. And here's the on module load. Basically, what we're just doing here is um, setting an uncaught accept handler and just starting the showcase right now so that if we get an exception during the startup procedure, it's going to be covered by the uncaught exception handler as well. So, and then we're going to end up in start. We're just going to, we're going to configure our work, uh, view our viewport. Uh, put up some MGWT settings, apply them, uh, build the client factory, um, produce a history, map a uh, handler for the history, uh, and gonna create a different uh, display depending if you're running on a tablet or if you're running on a phone, and gonna start handling the current history. This is basically the same for almost any uh, GWT MDP application. So let me walk you quickly through the phone. Oops, through the phone display. We're just going to create an animatable display. We're going to do this with GWT create because animatable display behaves differently on different platforms. Then we're going to need an activity mapper. We're going to need an animation mapper. We're going to put this together inside an animating activity manager, which is going to take the activity mapper, the animation mapper, and the event bus. We're going to set the display here. We just created and append everything to a root panel. So for the showcase, you can take a look at the different activities um, which are located in the different packages. So you get a quick idea on how you can structure an, an, a GVT MVP application, but also an M GWT application. So hope this helps to get started. And so hope you enjoyed it.